America, fighting a global war, calls on its shipbuilders for vessels of every type and description. Flat-bottom tank carriers, designed for shallow work near shore, go down the ways in record numbers. At one plant, six are built in the same dry dock, launched together by the simple means of flooding the dock. Built to navigate in war zones, to enable American tanks to roll ashore under their own power, the most effective invasion craft afloat. And here is one of the miracle men of United States shipbuilding, Henry J. Kaiser. With an 81-piece model of the famous Liberty ship, Mr. Kaiser shows how the 10,000-ton vessels are actually constructed. Each part is prefabricated, built at a different plant, and assembled just as the master shipbuilder has done here. Now Mr. Kaiser views his latest achievement, the 10,000-ton Robert E. Perry, built in four days, 15 hours, and 29 minutes, a world production record beyond the dreams of shipbuilding experts. Down the ways, 90% complete, she'll be ready for service within a week of the day her keel was laid. And as the ship hits the water, the keel for another swings into place. Here is America's answer. It can be done.